In this tutorial, I will show you how to knead the crochet provisional cast on. To do this, you need a pair of knitting needles, a crochet hook, working yarn and some waist yarn of contrasting color. Begin working with a crochet hook and your waist yarn. Make a chain where you have more chain stitches than you knit cast on stitches. I usually do 4, 6 extra stitches. Once you're done with your chain, you don't need the crochet hook anymore. Now take one of your knitting needles and now I'm going to pick up the loops for my cast on row. Turn the crochet chain to the back. Here you can see the bottom loops of the stitches. Skip two or three stitches from the beginning and start to pick up these bottom loops with your needle. Pick up each stitch through the bottom loop across the chain. Once you have the required number of stitches on your needle, you can continue and knit using your working yarn. Here on my needle I have cast on stitches and on the beginning and on the end of my cast on row I have some extra chain stitches hanging. I made them to avoid unraveling. Now take your working needle and the working yarn and start knitting following any pattern you've chosen. Work into each stitch across the row. I'm doing a stock in it for demonstration, so knit the 8th stitch and knit each stitch across the row. I'm working knit stitches, now knit the 8th stitch, turn the work and begin the second row. Work purl stitches, move the working yarn to the front of your main needle, slip the 8th stitch purlwise, purl each stitch till the end of the row. And on the end of this row, purl the 8th stitch as well. Now turn the work and continue on the right side. Slip the 8th stitch, then knit each stitch across the row, Now knit the 8th stitch and turn to the wrong side. We need to make at least several rows, so let's continue. Hold the working yarn in the front, slip the 8th stitch, then work a row of purl stitches. And Purl the last stitch for the edge. Turn to the right side. After we are done knitting this top part, we need to transfer all the stitches into the second knitting needle. For this, pick up each stitch through the loop along the edge. So then you will have live stitches and you will be able to continue knitting in the opposite direction. Here I am picking up the edge stitch. Then skip this leg and pick up the second leg of the stitch. Pick up each stitch across through the second leg. Now we need to pick up one more stitch. If you pick up this 8th stitch through the second leg, 
After you remove the waist yarn, you will be short one stitch on your bottom needle. So to have the same amount of stitches on both needles, we need to have the same amount on the bottom and on the top needle. You need to pick up this first leg that is closer to your needle. Here we picked up all stitches. We have nine stitches on the top needle and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine stitches on the bottom needle. Once you are done and you have all the stitches on your knitting needle, you can remove this waist yarn simply by pulling the tail. After that, you will have five stitches on your bottom needle that you can continue to work with knitting in another direction. This Keston method is great for knitting mittens, socks, hats and many other things. Thanks so much for watching and please subscribe for more free tutorials.